registered dietitian at the Rosalind Franklin University of Medicine and Science. Today I'm going to talk about the article by Molinol done in 2010. The title, The Comparison of Cholecalciferol and Doxycalciferol in the Lowering of Parathyroid Hormone Levels in Dialysis in Chronic Kidney Disease Patients, Stages 3 and 4. Why the recent interest in, in using a different therapy than the traditional therapy for lowering uh, the PTH levels? They are now finding that most tissues have the ability to activate 25-dihydroxy vitamin D, which is vitamin D3. The hypothesis for this study is in stages 3 and 4, patients with parathyroid hormone values above the kidney disease outcomes quality target, there will be a significant difference in the decline in PTH level between doxycalciferol and cholecalciferol participants over 3 months. The methods, which we're going to start with the study design, is there, this is parallel, double-blinded, one group received cholecalciferol amounts, the other received doxycalciferol amounts, and they had healthy um, subjects that were on were patients three and four stages of kidney disease, and they had women, women and men, ages 18 to 82. The inclusion criteria included patients that had an elevated PTH and also had elevated, um, elevated calcium and, and phosphorus marginally. The exclusion criteria were people that had severely high levels of PTH, calcium and phosphorus. Also people that had ileostomies or chronic diarrhea and there were some medications such as digoxin that was excluded from, they were excluded from the study. So the outcome measures that uh, the study looked at was uh, the primary one was obviously lowering the PTH and, uh, and looking also at increasing levels of 25 dihydroxy vitamin D. The primary outcome measurements uh, or secondary outcome measurements were the blood pressure, feeling better, uh, did they have less pain. Now the results uh, in the graph here that you can see, uh, the results are just more of the technical part of the presentation and it also just demonstrating that the PTH was lowered more in the doxycalciferol group and as opposed to the cholecalciferol group, but the cholecalciferol group had higher levels of 25-dihydroxy vitamin D. And also we can see in the um, key results, two tables here, uh, verifying once again the PTH uh, going down in the doxycalciferol group. And then this section here down below the table is describing the increase in 25 dihydroxy. Now, uh, just the discussion part is that uh, they reviewed many uh, observational studies, about 17 and about five uh, random uh, trial, random double blind trials. And they found that the ending conclusion was that if you replenish the levels of 25-dihydroxy, then you have uh, better outcomes for parathyroid hormone levels for our patients 3 and 4. In saying this, um, there was some strengths to the uh, study. It was a randomized, it was double blind, they had a homogeneous uh, population. Some of the weaknesses for uh, the study was that it wasn't over a particularly long period of time, three months. So in conclusion, the author did state that uh, replenishing 25-dihydroxy can lower uh, PTH slightly. Uh, doxycalciferol definitely does. But uh, this is good for the future research for our patients uh, on stages three and four and dialysis patients especially that there are results that if we do replenish the 25 hydroxy stores, 